Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Playing Pauper. So last week we had an instant deck deck featuring one of the craziest combo decks in the Pauper format. That is one land spy, and the deck looks so crazy, I just had to try it out. So this week we are playing some one land spy in the Pauper format, and oh my goodness, this deck is just, it's ridiculous, it's ridiculous it is crazy i don't know if it's gonna work very often it's probably like a pauper against the odds deck essentially but hopefully we pull off the combo at least some percentage of the time and it's pretty sweet when it happens so like usual gonna do a super quick two minute refresher deck tech if you want to see a full longer breakdown of the deck and all the intricacies make sure to check out the instant deck deck i'll link it down below in the description box so anyway let's jump into the deck deck so we can get to the gameplay so one land spy is a crazy combo deck it is unique because it only has a single forest one land in the mana base and the main goal of the deck is to get that land out of the mana base using land grant or just drawing it naturally because to combo off we need to use balustrade spy to mill our entire deck over into our graveyard so balustrade spy mills until you hit a land essentially if we don't have any lands in our deck it mills our entire deck so the idea is we get the land out of our deck then we cast spy we can even tutor it up with commune with nature or demir house guard to make sure we find it because we really need the spy to win the game it is not practical to win without resolving the spy so we find the spy we resolve the spy we mill everything over we also really need song of the dam hopefully usually in our hand and then we have like 24 creatures in the deck so spy will be on the battlefield we'll mill over 23 other creatures and then song of the dam is one mana plus 23 mana so once we make the 23 mana the plan is to win the game primarily with haunting misery there's some weird situations where Crypt Rats can get it done, but mostly with Haunting Misery. So we have those 23 creatures in our graveyard. Haunting Misery just exiles them all 20 plus damage to our opponent's face. The thing is, Haunting Misery is going to be in the graveyard along with all of the rest of our deck because we're milling everything. So to actually get the Haunting Misery, we need to use Morgue Thief. So Morgue Thief returns a creature from our graveyard to our hand. We can flash it back for four mana. So once we make all the Song of the Damn mana, we have like 23 mana ish floating. So we have enough that we can flash back morgue thief if there's a chance crypt rats can win the game we can just get crypt rats and win that way but mostly we're flashing back morgue thief to return anarchist to our hand then we're casting the anarchist to get back to haunting misery finally haunting misery exiles 20 some creatures from our graveyard kills our opponent on the spot in theory with the nut draw we can do this as early as turn one more likely it's going to be like turn two turn three we need a really crazy draw to turn one it but it is theoretically possible but it's more likely a little later in the game Otherwise, we have Conjurer's Bobble is a way to just kind of tutor up any card from our deck. We can put a card on the bottom after we mill everything and then draw that card. A bunch of fast mana, because we only have one land. We need lots of non-land ways to make mana. Lotus Petals, Spirit Guides, a bunch of Rituals, Tinder Walls, and Wild Canters, and Spring Leaf Drums. And then we just have a bunch of Cyclers. So these are creatures in our graveyard for Song of the Damned. Plus, they just draw us through our deck. Gitaxian Probe lets us make sure the coast is clear from counters. Like I said, just a single force in the mana base. Sideboard duress and pyroblast for control nile spellbomb for opposing graveyards ingot chewer to deal with opposing graveyard hate like tormod crypt relic of progenitus because we can't really win through graveyard hate on the battlefield electricery for tokens ulamog's crusher is a backup win condition and that is one land spy for pauper and that's our playing pauper deck for this week so this should be interesting i assume that this is against the odds pauper style but we'll see maybe it happens way more often than it looks we have a lot of moving pieces we need a lot of things to go right we need to get the land out of our deck so we need either the land or one of the land grants then we need a spy then we also need the mana to cast the spy and then we even need a little bit of mana left over to cast like song of the damned and make red mana for our anarchist so you need a lot of moving pieces to actually make the combo work so regardless it should be interesting it should be fun so let's get to the gameplay see how this goes fingers crossed thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the videos and i'll be back in a bit with the wrap up all right play Playing Popper time, and oh my god, we're playing One Land Spy. Playing One Land Spy in Popper. Man, this hand is close. We have the mana, we have the spy. I guess we keep this? We want Songs of the Damned, and we need, hopefully, to get our land out of our deck. Ugh. All right, this is going to mean our opponent's going to have a fast clock. Wild Canter, Cycle Street Wraith. 
I mean, we can just spy here. We do have a land in our deck though. So we can Lotus Petal, Tinder Wall, Tinder Wall, Wild Canter, Wild Canter, Black Mana, Black Mana, Dark Rich, and then cast Spy, mill a bunch of our deck. We will hit that land at some point. And then we're gonna need mana production though. I'll play Lotus Petal, pass the turn. I think we just gotta wait. We can spy at any time. So step one, we'd like to draw Song of the Dam. Step two, we'd like to get that land out of our deck or some combination of those. And we probably gotta do it fairly quickly or we're gonna die to a massive Laguna Man Trailblazer that we don't have removal for. Looks like Mono White Heroic? Deck is pretty scary. It gets pretty scary pretty quickly. All right, Cycles, that's good. Opponent gets in for two. Yep. The other thing is we're going to have to start playing. Uh-oh. Free spells. Yep. Mutagenic growth. We're going to have to start playing stuff to not discard the hand size, which is a little awkward. Down to 13. Commune with nature isn't especially helpful. <sighs> if we draw even just Song of the Dam, we'll go for it. I think we just pass. Discard the Mirror House Guard. We don't mind getting creatures in our graveyard. I think if we draw Song of the Dam, we can go for it even with the one land in our deck. We're going to just have to. Sky Guard. Come on, no pumps. Trailblazer, two cards in hand. So we're only taking two this turn. We might have two more turns. Well, hopefully they don't have another free spell. If they have another free spell, we probably only have one. So we really just want Song of the Damned, and we will we will give it a go. Opponent hits us. Down to 11. Ugh, more spies. Well, pass the turn. Discard Crypt Rats. Cross our fingers that we get another turn. Okay, opponent. Gonna go attacking. Hits us, hits us. Come on, no spells, no spells. Down to eight. Well, come on, Song of the Dam and some luck. Another Trailblazer. Opponent passes. Ah, Conjures Bobble. All right, pass the turn. Discard a spy. See if we live. We. Ah, hmm. Fairy Armor. Pumpage, pumpage. Not dead yet. That's five. We do have to go for it this turn, though. Opponent gets in, opponent gets in. Come on, Song of the Damned. Down to three. Opponent passes. Tinder wall. So sack for green, play Tinder wall. Sack for red, play wild canter. Sack for black, play dark ritual, play spy. Mill 20 cards, mill two Song of the Damned. And now I just don't think we can win though is the problem. Pass the turn. So we need to draw a mana source, but we also need to draw Song of the Damned. So I'm not sure there's any any way that this actually ends with us winning. Well, uh, maybe we should have tried to find a way to play Bobbles. It's just so hard because all of our mana is so temporary. So if we spend our Lotus Petal, then all of a sudden, yeah, that does it. If we spend our mana on like Conjurer's Bobble, then we don't have that Lotus Petal to eventually cast Spy. Uh, we really wanted to win game one because now our opponent can bring in sideboard graveyard hate potentially. I don't think we actually have anything for this matchup. Crushers, Chewers, Duresses, Electricuries. Electricery, yeah, we just gotta, we gotta go with it. The only good news is our opponent's clock isn't super, super fast. Like you saw there, we had several turns to try to draw a combo piece. We didn't do it, but Maybe we're supposed to just bring in ingot chewers in case our opponent brings in graveyard hate, but. So we play first. All right, we'll keep this. We have our land grant this time, which is nice. So land grant, get our forest, play our forest, cycle street wraith. Now we just need to find a spy. We have almost enough mana I'll play tinder wall having our one forest makes things a lot easier because we get to like run out this tinder wall for example without sacking lotus petal which makes our mana situation much much better we still are gonna need to find all right there's trailblazer we still need to find spy and probably song of the damned there's spy our mana's not lining up we need a ritual well, Spy's a good draw. Let's pass the turn. We need more black mana. 
So we can spy, but that uses all of our black mana. All right, Cartouche. I don't think we can block this Trailblazer because of mutagenic growth. We really need this Tinder Wall to keep making mana. Opponent. Getting in. Yeah, we're going to take it. We even have our Haunting Misery in hand. We have, we have basically everything we need, minus a little bit more black mana. Song of the Dam is probably the ideal solution. Opponent does have mutagenic growth. Yep, speeding up the clock. So we take five down to 13. There's a dark ritual. Does this let us go? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I think that does it. I think that does it. Because we have Haunting Misery in hand. All right, so play Lotus Petal, Exile Spirit Guide, Sack this for Black, Dark Ritual, Sack this for Red, seven mana, so Spy, leaving Black mana available. Oh man, we're doing it. Mill our entire deck. Yeah everything in the graveyard and we got the haunting misery so we get to just win right now we had just enough mana so mill everything haunting misery our opponent now we just have to exile 18 creatures wow well that's it that's that is a turn three turn three combo kill turn three combo kill and popper that's what when land spy is trying to do and we didn't even have song of the damned all right, that's 18. 18 you? And that's a game. Whoo! There we go. That's that is the dream. That is the dream. That is the dream. That is exactly how we were hoping that would work out. Uh okay. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we should bring an ingot chewer for graveyard hate. That was pretty sweet. It's <laughs> it is pretty sweet when it all comes together. I don't know about this Demir House guard. Having enough mana to transmute it and spy and combo, that seems like a stretch. Let's go down to Demir House Guard for an Ingot Chewer. And go down maybe one probe for an Ingot Chewer. Try it like that. All right, so the deck can work. We just, we kind of got lucky to have a combo piece in hand or our win condition in hand in Haunting Misery. If we didn't have that in hand, it would have been a lot rougher. Ooh, Song of the Damned. Oh boy, this end is super close to the ideal. We have, we need, we need to find our forest basically to cast these canters. That's what we're missing. We got the spy, we got the song of the damned, trailblazer. So come on, way to get our forest. Deadshot Minotaur, well, Psycho Street Wraith. We just drew our forest. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Wild canter go. Oh, that was so lucky. <laughs> one out of 52 and it was our forest on top okay so now we should have a turn three win can we win next turn i think if we draw like a dark ritual we win next turn this is all assuming no graveyard hate cartoon sure oh man come on give us a ritual for the turn the turn two kill and it's the full combo with song of the dam so you'd see exactly how that works opponent gets it we take it down to 16 yeah Come on, come on, Dark Ritual or Cabal Ritual. Oh, Land Grant. So play Wild Canter, pass the turn. This, this should, assuming nothing goes wrong, this should allow us to win next turn. We need no Graveyard Hate. Ethereal Armor, that's fine. Trailblazer is not going to kill us this turn. Oh, I think we got it. One, two, three, four, five. We have enough black mana from Wild Canter. Yeah, we'll take it. Down to 11, down to 10. Opponent passes. Springleaf Drum. So play Lotus Petal. Exile, Simeon Spirit Guide. Sacrifice Canters. Cast Spy. Target ourselves. Mill our deck. All right, here's the full combo as long as we don't mess it up. Everything in the graveyard. Yup. Sacrifice Lotus Petal. Song of the Damned, 23 mana. Now we Morg the flashback on Anarchist. Play Springleaf Drum. Tap the Spy for red mana. 
play anarchist. Oh man, we're we're doing it. We're doing it. Anarchist gets back our haunting misery. Ha yes, please. Haunting misery. We will uh, exile a few creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty creatures. And one land spy. Gotcha. Gotcha. Woo! <laughs> two turn three kills. Uh, yeah. Game one, we did nothing. Game two and three. That's the combo. That is what we're trying to do. Whoo! <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, if you watch the deck tech and you're like, I don't understand how that works. We got to see the lucky Haunting Misery and Hand combo in game two. And then that's the full combo. That is the loop of milling everything, anarchists, getting back Haunting Misery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, whew. I will say we did get a bit lucky to top deck that forest. That would have ruined everything without having the forest. It seems like that is maybe the most important aspect of the deck is having that one forest or the land grant to get that forest. That's what we really, really need is to find a way to get the forest out of our deck. That's what we didn't have in game one because we need we need the ability to cast wild canters essentially and tinder walls. If we can't cast those, it makes it much harder to get the mana. If we can cast those to just kind of like store up our mana for the turn we want to go off, that's when it goes much better. So, whoo, all right. <laughs> one land spy. We spied our opponent on that one. Sweet. All right. <laughs> Playing popper time. Oh my god. One land spy. <laughs> it's a combo. We'll see if it works. Uh, so this hand, we have our spy. We have a redraw. We're missing our forest. This hand is close to being good. We need to get our forest. And we need... Well, I guess we need multiple pieces. We need black mana to get this started. We need to get our forest out of our deck. And we need Song of the Damned. However, we get a redraw. And we get a redraw here once we get our forest. And we're on the draw. Alright, we're going to try this. We got the mana, we got the spy. So I think that this is close enough. Ah, oh, there's our forest. Well, that's a good start. So play the forest. That turns on our redraws too. Probe our opponent. See how scary the hand is. Nest invader. All right, so our opponent's gonna have a lot of power and toughness next turn. But that's kind of their hand. All right, sure. So we draw. Dark Ritual. Well, play Conjures, Bobble. Pass the turn. So we're looking for Song of the Damned and basically any way to make black mana. So here comes the dorks. Yep, Burning Tree adds mana, Nest Invader. This is a clock, but it's not super fast, so we might have enough time to draw it into our pieces, especially with this redraw here. So opponent's got four power now. Well, Crack Bobble, not going to put anything on the bottom. Another Spy. Ugh, in a land grant. Well, play Springleaf Drum. Pass the turn. Four is for our opponent. Oh, that's not good. Five, six, seven. That speeds up the clock quite a bit. Down to 11. So we have two turns. Well, cycle Minotaur. Uh, pass the turn. Discard a spy. Hmm. Oh, my. Oh, my God. All right. Well. That was incredibly good running for our opponent. <laughs> sure. Sure. Good good running. Good running. Well, uh, two elephant guides in a row off the top of the deck means game. Just game over. Okay. Well, let's go down these Demir House guards for ingot chewers and just run it like that. 
just to have a bit of graveyard hate. Ugh, yeah. Uh, this hand's great. All we need is a spy. And uh, one more mana. So let's land Grant, get our forest. And we have commune and street wraith to try to find it. Actually, I think it's, is it possible we win as early as next turn? So play forest, play, let's play tinderwall, pass the turn. There's nettle sentinel, opponent's passing, ritual. Well, we got the mana, we just need our spy. Cycle street wraith, spy, canter, play canter, pass the turn. Oh man, we are really close. If Commune finds a spy, we should win next turn. Opponent, getting frisky. Yeah, we're not gonna block. Okay, Nest Invader, that's fine. As long as there's not Graveyard Hate, untaps and passes. Canter, well, let's Commune, no spy. Well, I guess we take Spirit Guide. I think we have enough mana that we just play this Conjurer's Bobble and pass. We just gotta find a spy before our opponent Either kills us or find graveyard, finds graveyard hate. Sacks, elephant guide. Yep, that's a big old nest invader. And a ranker? Ugh, okay. Well, we gotta find this spy pretty quick here. Opponent gets in. I guess we gotta block. If we block one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we gotta block. We don't have a choice. All right. Down to nine. Well, Kabat's by Crack it. Nothing on the bottom. Cabal Ritual. Tinder Wall. Uh, play Tinder Wall. Pass the turn. We might have one more turn. Maybe. Forest. <sighs> Ranker. Making it slightly less likely that we have one more turn. Opponent. Goes attacking. Well, we got a block block. Oh, this is not good. Block and block. Down to three. All right, deck. Plays a creature. I mean, we either draw a spy this turn or we lose. It all comes down to this draw. Ledge walker, yup. All right, come on, deck. Crypt rats. That does not do it. It just kills us. We got no redraws. Unfortunately, crypt rats Last turn, Crypt Rat's Wrathing would have done it, but this Elephant Guide. Is there any way we can get a draw? We have... No. We can't make 20 mana. One, two, three, four, five. So five creatures would be in the graveyard. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, or nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen... 14, yeah. Oh, for want of a spy. Yeah, we weren't going to draw it forever. All right. Well, that's the deck. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't hit them. Ah, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, those are the non-Delver matchups that we want to be playing. All right, playing Pauper time. Looking to spy our way through the format and... Oh, this hand is weird. We have our land. We have a dead land grant. We have three redraws and some mana. All right. I think we keep... Hopefully our redraws are good. So, Cycle Street Wraith. Uh, more land <laughs> Why does that always happen to us? Well, we're just going to spend all of our life. Mono Black Control. Okay. Oh, my goodness. If only we had hollow ones. Well, there's Song of the Damned. Oh, we're, we're actually kind of close now. Let's commute. All right. Minotaur, eh, not exciting. Pass the turn. We need, we just need mana and our spy. That's what we need. This removal is going to make just leaving things out a little risky. Two land grants are pretty sad. Opponent passes. Bobble. Well, cycle... Minotaur. Uh, Crypt Rats. Crypt Rats is also not very helpful. Especially now that we are down to 12. Down to 12. Swamp for our opponent. Sign and Blood. Draw some cards. Yep. Opponent passes. If we draw another land grant, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. There's our spy. 
Do we play Tinder Wall and make our opponent kill it? I guess it's plus one mana no matter what. Play Bobble, pass the turn. We do need, we need an initial Black Source. Swamp for our opponent. And passing. All right, untap. Drawing Anarchist. I kind of want to just discard the hand size. Play Tinder Wall, pass the turn. Actually, let's draw a card. Morgue Theft. We actually just want to discard Crypt Rats here. Because one of our outs now is just drawing another Songs of the Damned. We still need black mana. Well, sack Tinder Wall. There goes some mana. Play Conjures Bobble. So awkward. Oh, this deck. It's infuriating. So I'm for our vote it. Gray Merchant. Well, crack Bobble, draw a card. Oh, man. Oh, man. We need... We need a Lotus Petal. We need a way to make that first black... Ma oh, it's the... Third land grant. Oh, man. That drives me insane. Fraxian Rager. We're running short on time, boys and girls. We're running short on time. If our opponent gains much more life, we can't win either. Oh, we need... If we draw Lotus Petal here, we win. It's that simple. We need a way to make that first source of black mana. If we draw a Wild Canter, we win. Opponent hits us, but this... Oh, we have one or two more turns to draw it. Probe. Redraw. They have another Grey Merchant. Oh, man. So it's got to be this turn. It's got to be this draw. Oh, come on. Give us a way to make the black mana. Oh. Oh, my God. This deck. This deck. Oh. Oh, it's so sweet. Like... 2% of the time and then the rest of the time it makes you want to pull your hair out we're always just like one combo piece short one one away one away from doing cool things now our opponent's probably going to get to bring in a ton of stuff that's good against us so we get to play first all right i mean this is about as good as our hands get we are very close to winning if our opponent doesn't have a duress Land Grant on one. One, two. Oh, we're so close. We are so close. Well, Land Grant, reveal our hand. Get our forest. We got the spy. We got the Song of the Dead. We got the Cabal Ritual. We just need to not not get hit by a duress effect. Oh, come here. <laughs> That's all right. We're upping our Storm Cow and getting cards in our graveyard. Classic commune with we actually sideboarded in more creatures, so we have 20 26 creatures! 26! 26 that we whiffed. Opponent passes. More spies. Commune. This has given our opponent a lot of time to find an answer. One, two. Up to three. Up to four. All right. Take Simeon Spirit Guide. We're one mana short. Assuming we don't get duress and then everything falls apart. One, two, three, four. Because right now Cabal Ritual is only adding one mana. All right. Witches is fine. Oh, come on. Come on, deck. Mana source. Dark Ritual. I think that does it. Whoo! All right. So... Sacrifice, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual. We're doing it. We are spying. Play Spy. Leave Black Floating. Mill Everything. Turn three? It came together. It came together on turn three. Whew, it's so sweet when it works. <laughs> Song of the Dam. Morgue Theft, Get Back, Anarchist, Exile Spirit Guide, Anarchist. This is the dream, the dream we've been waiting for. Get Back, Haunting Misery. Haunting Misery, target our opponent, exile 20 creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20? We're missing one. What are we missing? Street Wraith? Oh, Simeon's Beer Guide? There's 20. Whoo! Turn three kill! What lands by? When it all comes together, it looks like the best deck in Pauper. And our opponent has no counters or duresses. You can see the power of the deck. That's the power of the deck. It does insane things. But it's definitely feeling like Pauper against the odds to some extent. Because those insane things happen a relatively small percentage of the time. Run it back. Do it again. Do it again. All right, this hand, this is our missing black mana hand. Land Grant, Tinderwall, Spirit Guide. Uh, it's so hard to know, like, how aggressive. We have Land Grant to get our land. We have Spy. I think that's a hand you just got to keep. Like, it's not going to get better than that like yeah we're missing pieces but cycles barren more but does it really get better than this so land grant reveal our hand we are going to need ways to make mana we don't have songs of the damned either so those are the main things we're looking for black mana production songs of the damned opponent kills our tinder wall yep well leaving in the removal i guess i mean we gotta cast it <laughs> hopefully it's okay that is a downside is our rituals do a lot of them have to sit on the battlefield which opens them up to random removal spells as opposed to like modern storm or legacy storm or something where you just don't have any creatures at all and you blink your opponent's removal Chittering Rats. That's pretty bad for us. Well, past the turn. We could play Spy, but that doesn't win us the game. Opponent. Swamp. Sign and Blood. We need this can... Uh, there's a Spell Bomb. All right, well, Ingot Chewer can take care of that at some point. Opponent getting in. Down to 80. We really need Song of the Damned, I guess. Bobble. Play Bobble. Get in with Cantor. Pass the turn. Land for opponent. Rager draws a card. Opponent. Getting in. Yeah. Down to 16. Passes. Ritual. Well, we got a crack. We need a... We need a Lotus Petal. Tinder wall. Uh, so right now we can Tinder wall for red. One, two, three. Ritual, ritual. We just don't have a finisher. Yeah, we don't have enough mana. So play Tinder wall. Pass the turn. We need the Song of the Damned. We don't have nearly enough mana to do everything yet. They're going to get to this Chainer's Edict, and that's going to make things worse. Draw some cards. <sighs> that makes things worse as well. There goes our only source of black mana. Yeah, we're... Things are looking pretty, pretty grim. Pretty, pretty, pretty grim. Ugh. Gets in. Yeah. Not going to block. Don't want to lose to another Disfigure. Sure. Down to 12. Opponent. Passes. More spies. Yeah, this one might just be straight up over. Discard land grant. Oh, another. Yeah. Now I'm not sure there's a way to piece this together. Opponent gets in. Down to eight. Another morgue theft. Discard a spy. Land for our opponent. Dead right now to a gray merchant if they have one. Otherwise, I guess... We need Song of the Damned. That has to be our top deck if we live. All right, opponent's got Great Merchant. Would we have top decked it? We would have run Lotus Petal. That would not have done it. All right. We are playing some Pauper with one land spy, and we're missing our basic 
but we have three draws. We have our mana for the most part. We have Spy. We're going to keep this and hope that we can find a way to to get our forest out of our deck. And then this hand's pretty good. Tron. Okay. Tron very well could have counters. I think it typically does have counters. So Urza's Tower. Opponent passing. Uh, Morgue Theft. Well, probe our opponent. See what's going on over there. All right. So one counter in Prohibit. Well, draw a card. More mana. Well, Cycle Street Wraith. We do need our land. There's land grant. There we go. So reveal our hand. Now we just need a bit more mana. Play a Forest. Play Wild Canter. Play Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. We're close. We are close. Ooh, Tron land off the top. Opponent passing. We draw Lotus Petal. Man, we could we could go for it. Based on our opponent. So one, two, three, four, five. So what we would do would be to play play everything, mill our entire deck, play Conjurer's Bobble, and try to win next turn. I think we do that. Get in with Wild Canter. Hit our opponent. So we're not winning this turn, but we're setting up the win for next turn. So opponent, down to 19. One, two, three, four, five. All right, play Tinderwall. Sack Tinderwall. Play Bobble. Make sure it resolves. I mean, we should be good with just Tron lands. The risk is if something goes wrong next turn, then we could lose. So Sack for Black... Sack for black. Play Lotus Petal. Sack for black. Oh, wait. Am I misunderstanding this? Do we still just mill ourselves out? I think we mill ourselves out, don't we? This doesn't work? Oh, my God. Uh. So Conjurer's Bobble doesn't actually save us here, does it? Because we draw the card. So I think we just lose. Unless we can get our opponent to scoop somehow. Pass the turn. I wish we had an instant speed win condition. Grotto. Well, we milled our whole deck. That's something. Yeah, we're just dead. That's unfortunate. All right, well, lesson learned. Conjurer's Bobble doesn't actually save us. It's not actually even very good in our deck. <laughs> I don't know for why I was thinking that putting the card on the bottom of our library would actually, would actually save us there. So we gotta have enough... If only this deck had a way to go off at instant speed, I'm gonna have to dig through the pauper card pool. An instant speed way to win would go a long way. Because then in that scenario, we could win on our upkeep. I guess we had to just keep waiting until we draw Song of the Damned, and then that's then we get caught by counter spells. I don't know. I don't know about... I don't know about this one land spy thing. Well, go down the guards, go down a couple probes. We got to bring in, I guess, duress, and we really need ingot chewers too. At least some. Yeah, let's go down a bobble. Try it like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'll have to have uh, Tomer edit that part out. Mana, no forest, no. Yeah, we can't keep this. All right. I guess this we keep because we do have land grant, which is something. Street Wraith. Well, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be shuffling. So let's land grant. Reveal our hand. Get our forest. And pass the turn. Hope that we run well, I guess. Opponent plays power plant. And expedition map. Oh, boy. <clears throat> that means Tron is going to be online. Oh my god, oh my god. Opponent passes. Well, <laughs> play Canter. So never try to go off without without having Song of the Damned, I guess? Or another way of winning? Huh. Well, it's good to know that you can just mill yourself to death. We learned, we learned something. Alright, tap land for our opponent. And passes. Get in with Canter. Hit our opponent. Play Lotus Petal. Pass the turn. Like, we could spy here. We could even spy with Duress Backup. I guess we just need to draw a Song of the Damned. I think that's where we're at. 
Or because if we just run out spy, we're gonna do what we did in the first game. For some reason, I was thinking there was a way we could piece together the win from that situation, but apparently there is not. More spies, not especially helpful. Well, hit our opponent. Pass the turd. Maybe there just isn't a... There's got to be a way to solve that problem in the pauper card pool. Got to be. Got to be. Even just putting one card back in our library would solve the problem. Seagate Oracle. Opponent goes digging. Wow, well, this would be a turn to draw a Song of the Damned. Well, play Tinderwall. More mana is not especially helpful. I mean, it's not not helpful, but our pinch here isn't on mana. We have actually a ton of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe more, depending on if we can get threshold. Ugh, all right. This is where life gets bad. Crop rotation, Tron online. There's Muldrifter. Our opponent might be shields down. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, give us our... Uh, all right, not really shields down. Just kidding. Uh, all right, still, I guess they are kind of shields down now. Well, Song of the Damned. We need our Song of the Damned. This is our turn to do it. Opponent is finally tapped out. Come on, Dak. Song of the Damned. Commune. Well, play Commune. Take Deadshot Minotaur. There goes one Song of the Damned to the bottom. Pass the turn. More Tron lands. Uh, now there's a decent chance our opponent will be able to leave up multiple counters since they have a lot of blue mana now. Opponent. Yeah, it's in with Muldrifter. Sure. Down to 18. I mean, uh, maybe our opponent taps down. We do have a Duress. Seagate Oracle. Still has multiple blue mana with Grotto and Prophetic Prism. Gets a card and passes. Well, cycle Street Wraith. Cabal Ritual. Cycle Minotaur. Anarchist. He'll pass the turn. Well, let's think about this. We duress. Sack all of our stuff. We might have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 4 and 5. We don't, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Because we got to cast this Anarchist. All right, let's just pass. And we got to cast the Duress. Uh, teachings. Probably getting something that we can't really... We just need so many pieces. Condescend. Yeah. Oh, God. Ghostly Flicker. Yeah. Draws three, essentially. <laughs> All right. Pass the turn. Opponent. Seagate Oracle. Oh, man. Well, there goes our mana. Things are looking worse and worse. Kind of surprised our opponent left this in. Serrated Arrows isn't even really a good card against us it kills exactly wild canter bonus passing gets in with everything yep down to 12 so we need song of the damned we need our opponent to not have more counters we'll play tinder wall <laughs> pass the turn it's looking grim it's looking grim very grim opponent can flash back teachings get a capsize or something yep teachings another counter yeah we're getting to the scoop point of the game now two counters means we just we really can't win opponent goes attacking block and block down to nine Mull Drifter, draw some cards. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Opponent. Wall. 
getting back Ghostly Flicker. Our opponent tapped down to one blue mana, but I don't think that matters. Opponent passes. Discards, discards. Is there any way of this working? Dark Ritual. I don't think this does it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have enough mana, but I'm not sure how we get through the counters. So Sack Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Resolves, Cabal Ritual. We need our opponent to bite on countering something that isn't essential. All right, is this the counter? Can we make enough mana still? Yeah, there's the counter. Well, Cabal Ritual. Tinder wall, tinder wall. Man, we're not gonna get there. Oh, we needed we needed that last one to resolve. So play spy. Yeah. We needed that three mana. Mill everything. So we can cast Anarchist, but we don't have enough mana to cast our Yeah. Yeah, it does it. Yep, not enough mana. Oh, one land spy. We do cool things. Ugh. Sometimes. All right, playing pauper time. We are looking to... Ugh, sands. One land spy. Um, we have land grant. I mean, I think we got to keep it. The forest is the most important part of this deck. I feel like we can piece everything else together. Hopefully. We do have a dead land grant. All right, opponent preordains. So it looks like a Delver deck, most likely. Street. I'll play a forest. Let's probe. Augur Gush preordain three islands. All right. Cycle Street Wraith. Got lots of mana, which is good. We got to find a spy. And then we got to find a way to actually win post spy. Conjurer's Bobble does help. So play Wild Canter. Play Lotus Petal. Why we know our opponent doesn't have counters. Pass the turn. So Conjurer's Bobble is good. Conjurer's Bobble means if we find a spy, we can go for the win. Island for our opponent. And passes. I'll play Springleaf Drum. Uh, opponent, draw for the turn with Spell Stutter. All right, so we will just pass. Deck probably has a lot of counters. There's the Preordain. Looking for more counters. I wonder how beatable counters are with this deck. Delver of Secrets. So opponent's building up a clock. Wow, just gushes. Ponders. Well, we know our opponent has Augur and three islands. And they shuffle. Opponent gets in for one. Yep. We draw. Haunting Misery. Ooh, all right. Play Canter. Pass the turn. Haunting Misery is sort of helpful. Still going to have to beat a counter eventually. Uh, opponent shuffles into the Delver flip. Gets in, hits us. Yep. Down to 11. Plays Augur. Oh man, if we can find a way to win this turn, you don't think we can? More land grants does not help. Well, commune with nature. Opponent's in the tank. Do they have a daze, must be? All right. Street Wraith. Well, cycle Street Wraith. Oh man. Oh, brutal. Uh, we've drawn so many dead cards. Normally the pinch is making sure we find a land grant, but now, now we got the opposite problem. We have more land grants than we can do anything with. They just literally, they do nothing. We don't have any lands left in our deck. Wow, opponent has two mutagenic gross. All right, and that's the game. All right, all right, all right. Well, huh. I'm assuming we need duresses. I guess electric, oh, man. Pyroblast, maybe Electricery. Ugh, that's so many cards we gotta cut. Let's go down the Demir House guards. Go down a Probe. Go down a, hmm, Crip Rats, I guess? Seems like a really challenging matchup. We probably gotta go maybe one Electricery. We can't cut too many creatures because we gotta make sure we have enough. Maybe we can't bring in this many cards. Maybe we can't bring in Electricries. Maybe you can only bring those in against tokens. I guess it's another probe. Ugh. All right, let's try it like this. 
feels like it might be a hard matchup. Well, we're on the play. Let's see how our hand looks. Hey, it's pretty good. We have our land grant to get our forest. So, yeah, land grant. Grab our forest. Play our forest. Probe our opponent. So, we will both know what, he, what each other has. No counters. That's good news. Oh, there's one counter. Counter spell. Augur, Ninja, Two Gush, Two Island, Counter Spell. So we gotta find a way to beat one counter. Mm, the rest is potentially a way. Play Wild Canter, play Lotus Petal, pass the turn. So we need Song of the Damned and probably one more ritual. Eh, yeah. Oh, Delver off the top. Okay. Well, that's not a counter spell, so that's good. Untap. <sighs> Can't get away from those land grants. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah, let's pass. Uh, so right now we have exactly enough mana to spy. Oh, man, they flip with a counter. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> no, Delver! Ah, oh, man, that is frustrating. That is super frustrating. Well, cycle Minotaur. Jeez, that is brutal. No, oh, no, another land grant. So our ah, uh, so our opponent's top two cards were Delver with counter spell on top to flip Delver, which is literally if they could have stacked the top of their deck how that was and two of our top three cards were land grant up oh! <laughs> make that three of our top four cards were land grants and now <laughs> uh literally these are like the only dead cards in our deck we got <laughs> everything else cycles or is a combo piece or makes mana Literally the only cards that do nothing are these land grants. And if we draw the fourth one, well, play a canter. The problem is we just can't beat counter spells. We aren't going to win by attacking, but we can't really attack anyway. Opponent draws a land. The fact that they have, we know they have a second counter spell means I don't know how we win. I guess we got to hope our opponent taps down. So pass the turn. Oh, we drew every land grant. Opponent draws another land. Yeah. Ah, oh, so close. Opponent passes. There's Song of the Damned. Well, Sack Canter, duress our opponent. That second counter spell, that's the game. Yeah, man. Well, we were close. We ran incredibly poorly, and our opponent had the literal dream. Oh, that's a frustrating one. That is a frustrating one. Oh, boy. The problem we're having here is, I mean, it's many-fold, but we really need to cast these land grants to turn on Cabal Therapy. But if we do that, our opponent gets to see our hand and just knows if they counter the spy, we lose. Eh, I mean, whatever. I guess we're just hoping that our opponent, that our opponent for some reason doesn't cast their counter spell, which seems super unlikely because they've passed every turn leaving it up. Unfortunately, they got to, oh man. That was just good running. Land grant, land grant. Cabal ritual. They got to counter this. Whoa. Okay. I think this lets us win. I think we might have got our opponent to misplay. Uh, does it? I don't think it does, actually. Well, we'll see. So, cast. Spy. There's the counter. Sat canter. Song of the Dam. Yeah, we're going to be short on mana, I think. Opponent gushes. Oh, they drew third. Oh, gush, gush. Okay. And they drew another counter. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, well, there's good and bad. Counter spells are rough. We even had the duress to potentially beat it, but second counter off the top, gush into third counter. Delver's... I feel like every playing popper we say that. Like, oh, this deck's awesome. Except for Delver. So maybe Delver's just too good. Not the card, but the deck. I don't think you'd actually ban Delver, but something from Delver, potentially. Well, 
You can't win them all with one land spy, I guess. So what do we learn this week about one land spy in Pauper? And first off, as far as the record, you're actually seeing kind of a mismatch of two different leagues. So basically, what happened is I started a league, won a game, played against Delver a bunch of times, decided that considering that this deck is not going to beat Delver very often, and people already don't like duplicate matchups, I wasn't just going to post one land spy losing to Delver over and over. So I ended up going one redrop. So I jumped in another league and went 05 in that league and gave you the different matchups throughout the league. So you didn't see them over and over and over again. And the end result is one land spy, as we kind of thought heading into it, is kind of a pauper against the odds deck. The combo does kind of work. And we did win a match with it. We comboed off a couple other times, but there are a lot of moving pieces and it's kind of rough to win with consistently. So I wouldn't expect one land spy to start crushing pauper tournaments or anything. But one of the nice things about pauper is it's cheap. It's $91, which I know isn't like free cheap, but it still is pretty cheap. So if you want to try something different and unique and you want a chance of winning at turn one in pauper, it's a pretty good option for that. And it's kind of like budget deck cost essentially. So the problem with the deck, apart from losing to count, counter spells. It also loses to creature removal, which is really odd for a storm combo deck, but with our deck, we need creatures as rituals, essentially, with tinder walls and wild canters. And one of the problems is, this means decks like Mono Black Control that we ran into, they can just kill our creatures, which kills our rituals, which means we never cast our stuff. The other challenge with the deck is we need a lot of combo pieces. While, in theory, we can win without Song of the Damned, we really need, step one, get the land out of our deck. Step two, happen to draw Bellistrad Spy. Step three, have Song of the the damned in hand so we kind of have a three card combo and we got some cantrips to help find it but if we don't have every one of those pieces it's really hard to win with the deck in theory you can win without song of the damned if you got a bunch of other rituals and haunting misery in hand but otherwise if we have a land left in our deck and we have spy and song of the damned probably not gonna win maybe there's some chance that we win but we're taking a risk if we don't have spy we 100% can't win and if we don't have song of the damned and we have spy and we have the land out of our deck there's a decent chance that we just kill ourselves which we did, we did in one game by milling our entire deck thinking that conjure bobble could save us but conjure bobble can't actually save you so keep that in mind as well so i feel like the deck it's sweet and semi-competitive and i'm sure if we played a bunch of games with it learned it more the insides and out of it because it is a really weird and challenging deck to play it plays unlike basically any deck in the popper format and the combo itself is simple like you cast the spy you mill everything you cast song of the damned you win anyone can do that the challenging part is figuring out like what's keepable can you keep a hand without your forest or a land grant can you keep a hand without a balustrade spy or a song of the damned and i think we kind of narrowed it down to you need two of your three combo pieces in your opening hand ideally or just a ton of free cyclers but you really need any two of balustrade spy land grant slash forest and song of the damned and then you can kind of keep and hope that you draw into your other piece and just win the game obviously having all three is even better if you have all three that's the dream draw the land grant the spy and the song of the damned that's how you can potentially get a turn one win if you have enough rituals but I don't know. It's an against the odds popper deck. We probably could have picked up a couple of percentage points by playing tighter. Would we have won another match or even another game? Probably not. I don't think we played poorly to the extent where we we're actually costing ourselves games. But you could definitely, like play it more, get more used to the opening hands, what's keepable, what's not, what's your odds of drawing into the missing combo piece, how many cyclers do you have, because there's a lot of weird moving parts, and you are basically forced to keep hands that don't have all your combo pieces. You can't just mull into your combo pieces, because we need three different combo pieces, and they're all kind of just four ofs, even though we do have some tutors. So, you got to keep hands that are risky, and hope that you get a little bit lucky. When you get a little bit lucky, the deck is insane, and it is probably the 
pauper deck most likely to get a turn one win, which is kind of saying something. Having even the possibility of winning on turn one in pauper is pretty amazing in and of itself, but as we saw in our matches, it's kind of an against the odds deck. You're probably winning 10-20% of the time with the deck, and comboing off maybe slightly more than that. We had times when we comboed off but didn't win the match, so I don't think the deck is going to win tournaments, but it's super unique, and you can get your I won on turn one in pauper merit badge with one land spy it's probably the best deck for that so anyway that's been our plague popper for this week one land spy for popper thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.